Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Sitting here looking at a, a picture um, that someone had sent me um, to take a look at. It. And the, the question was, um, was I, I think he's moving the uh, deer blind from here and wondering about moving it to here to see. Uh, and was asking, does this look like a spot where mature bucks um, would be used on a yearly basis? Um, and I honestly, to answer the question, I have no earthly idea. Um, I don't, see this, I mean, there could, it could be, um, but there's nothing that I can see on aerial photo that would, that I could say, hey, yeah, that looks like a spot mature bucks would use, um, on a yearly basis every year. Um, now, <clears throat> spots that I do see, um, air, spots that mature bucks will use on a yearly basis on this, um, and first thing, before I answer that, I'm just going to um, I'm going to kind of go back here and um, take the timeline back just to kind of give some history of the property. Okay, this is um, okay. The property was clear cut. Um, well, let's this is a, this picture here. I don't know when the picture is. This picture here is 2008, okay? Um, as we go back, okay, there's 2008 still. Okay, we go back to 2005. Um, you see this? This is this is big hardwoods, I guess hardwoods. Um, this is big woods, okay? Then you have a clear cut here, and it looks like a clear cut here. So we're going to go back to the other picture. Um, and you see this was cut sometime after 1995, which doesn't give us a really good time frame on the when it was cut. Um, but this was this was definitely cut within 2005. So this area here should already be grown up pretty good, um, and this area here should be. I'm um, right here where my cursor is. Um, this is is field, and then of course you have the big. Um, area here. Now let's go back to okay, and here's where it's cut. So it was cut in between 2005 and 2008. Okay, so that's if you know. So it was definitely cut at 2008, and assuming it's you know beginning to grow back. Um, and this is the spring of 2008. This picture here is okay. Is the spring of 2008. Um, so it's already been cut, so it's it's beginning to grow. So um, we know that if it's got at least you know five years of growth on it, so it should be getting pretty thick uh, for deer to feel comfortable in it again. And in this, this was the you know December of 2008. Um, so it should definitely. Um, you know, you can see now that there's definitely some trees and stuff in here. So the pine, the, the pine, I believe it's going to be pine trees. They should be tall enough for the deer to be comfortable. Um, and I know it's very thick, going to be tough to get um, stands in certain locations. Um, but I'm going to point out a couple um, areas that I, I see. Um of interest okay one thing is are these here these are hardwoods I don't know if they're oaks if they are I want to find out what kind of oak trees them are I want to find out what kind of hardwoods they are period okay on these lines these lines of trees that run in through here um, if they're any type of food source them I'm gonna be interested in okay this finger here that comes out from this big patch here and it comes out um, I'm gonna be interested in that this big long line that's on this creek this is a creek um, that runs down through here I'm gonna be interested in that um, this area here I'm gonna be interested in them okay um, I'm gonna find out what the what them are what kind of trees they are if there's oak trees I'm gonna find out which kind of different oak trees uh, I'm going to uh, find out when they're, you know, producing acorns and, and whatever. Um, and I'm going to time out my food sources on them. Okay, I'm going to go back one more picture. 
not one more pitch. I'm going to go forward one pitcher. Okay. The reason is, okay, you've got these hardwoods. You've got this finger of hardwoods here. I think there was one here. Um, there's some down through here and here, okay? And you see this is pines, and then there, there's the creek. You can see the creek runs right down through here, okay? Runs right down through here somewhere. It may branch off here or something, but it, it definitely runs down through this this patch of hardwoods. Okay, I'm going to go back to it one more time. That's a creek bed. Okay, I'm going to be interested in that. And it may be tough to get a stand in there. There's a blind here. Um, I don't know what kind of hunting you do. Uh, Kevin, I think it was Kevin. I don't know what kind of hunting you do. Um, a blind's okay. But you may be able to even get in here with a climber or other type of stands in, in these areas here. They're already grown up. They're pretty tall trees. If, if these are food sources, you've got, you know, when they're, when they're, when the timing's right on them, um, they're going to be really hot spots because you are going to have a lot of deer bedding in this clear cut, okay? And, they, I mean, there's food in the clear cut, but when the, you know, timing is right on these acorns and stuff, that is going to be their preferred food source. I um, mean, you hunt them right, um, you're going to have a good uh, possibility. And I know you were looking for an easy way to get a blind in, and I'm not saying put put your blind there. I, I mean, this might be a great spot. I mean, you've you, you've got deer trails marked there. I'm not sure. You know, I don't have any idea because I can't take a look at it and see and, and decide. But I do believe that somewhere in the in these food sources and these acorns are going to be areas that bucks are going to use year after year. Other spots that I think bucks are going to use year after year that I would. Um, can say, yeah, these are spots bucks are going to use year after year, are these ponds. They're going to use them for water, especially if there's a lot of hunting pressure around um, that push these deer into this, this heavy cover. Um, <clears throat> if you have dry weather, them deer are going to have to have water, period. Okay, it makes much more sense. I'm zooming out again. Much eat more sense for that deer to to get water here and stay in that thick heavy cover and it's secure the security of that heavy cover that's in this for that's going to be there for probably for the next 10 years or so as these pines grow up it makes much more sense of them them older mature deer to get water in this cover rather than to go out wandering all out through open woods to get water um, especially if let's say right here, um, let's you know they they've got the clear cut. Okay, let's see what the recent picture is. Okay, yeah, this is this is a good picture. We can we can use this. Okay, because we can see the hardwoods. Okay, let's just say the uh, you've got these these pines that are growing up should be pretty thick. Um, you've got a lot of ground exposed. You should have some some undergrowth some browse for the deer so they've got food okay they've got water and they probably have some type of acorns with these hardwood trees okay so what do these deer not have they have everything they have bedding air they have bedding cover they have heavy cover they've got food a variety of food because they've got the clear cut that has all kinds of browse in it and they've got water in an area that right here this pond here is very close to heavy cover all the way around it okay and if these are oak trees they've got acorns here they've got food they've got everything they need in a small area right here I mean it's gonna be honestly it's gonna be difficult um, for anything to get in there I mean get out the actual area Guys, the area um, that I talk about in finding and hunting pressure nocturnal mature rutting bucks on public land is actually an area almost like this here. It is actually, um, you know, I, I, I walk through an area like this here where the deer have everything they need um, within a small area. Um, I've only hunted that stand one time that I, that I walk you guys through in that. I don't know if, you, if, you've, if you've seen this video, if you've seen it, if not... Um, you you know go 
to deerhuntingschool.com, get the online course, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you've seen it, um, you know what I'm talking about. I've only hunted that stand as of right now one time um, and, and seen one deer. And the wind wasn't blowing, and, and the deer ended up smelling us and, and took off as, as me and my wife was hunting it. We were hunting it on the ground. Um, hunting on the ground is pretty tough, especially if you you know you don't have a wind, which was that case. There was no wind, so your scent just kind of just drifts all around your, your location. Deer come in about 30. It was a doe. We were trying to let her um, get by. It was right in the middle of the rut. Probably had a good buck with her. Um, she ended up sp- smelling us and taking off. You know that's the way it works sometimes. But um, it was an area just like this here. Deer have everything they need, and it's very thick cover. It's a great location if you can get in there. So them are the them are the areas I can say, yeah, that hey, there's for sure um, going to be mature bucks um, around these ponds. On these, uh, if these are ac- if these are oak trees up and down them them food sources, they're going to utilize them. Um, I think an area like this here, this pond here, would be great, especially if you've got you know acorns here. Now you've got to remember timing. I mean water, there's no water is no timing to it the deer have to have water year round okay now the food source causes a timing um, issue you know and depending on the, the types of oak trees through here um, may be you know good at different times guys I have a course on timing hunting pressure mature bucks it's a great course that's all I can say about it um, it's a great course but them this area here I think would probably be pretty good I don't know what kind of hardwood trees them are so I can't say for sure, but I definitely want to check that out and see what kind of hardwood trees them are um, that are on the north side of this pond right here. Okay, S- same here. You've got some right here, okay, that kind of come down here to this pond. Now, when you've got two ponds really close together like that, it makes it kind of tougher if when you're hunting the water um, because, you know, the deer can come over here to drink water instead of coming over here. Um, but if you've got the food and, and everything right, you're, you're, you're okay there. Okay, and depending on what type of oak trees these are, if you, if they're oak trees, and I'm sure the some of them are, um, depends on, you know, where you need to be hunting at, at certain times. Okay, um, this creek, because of the the oaks, and I, you know I know that that deer a lot of times will follow creeks, you know, up and down the edge of creeks, just way it is i know there's a stand here but that doesn't matter this creek is you know up in this area is probably pretty good um you know down in here wherever you know somewhere down this 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 line of hardwoods here i'm just going to be pretty good um and if you're you're know this could be a spot here that you could get have easy access to i don't know now, I mean, this here, you know, as far as mature bucks use it, they could, it could be a great spot. I, I'm not sure. I don't I don't know what's there. I mean, I can't see anything other than, you know, a few um, hardwood trees here in amongst this that, you know, could possibly the deer could be utilizing for whatever reason. I don't see any particular uh, terrain features, um, you know, but, I, you know, you can't see everything on a, on a map like this. But what I do see is what I pointed out. Um, are these things here deer are going to use that and bucks are going to have to have water especially um, when they go into see into the seeking phase um, when they're moving a whole lot if it's dry during that time um, you know a little bit warmer weather than normal um, them deer are going to have to have more water than usual okay because especially bucks i mean they're moving a lot during that time they come into the seeking phase when they start looking for does um, they put a lot they, they move a lot during that time um, and then they, they go into the chasing phase and they start chasing those around um, guys sometimes they'll go into a full blown out run chase the doe through the woods you know for for hour you know and you know run her a little bit they stop run her a little bit they're both going to have to have water at that time uh, more water at that time if it's dry during that time them are going to be hot spots the only problem um, with it is you've got four ponds on the property you know, the deer can take pick any four pawns. Um, this one here, yeah, I know someone's already hunting this one, but this one here is kind of, you know, sort of close to by itself. Um, and, you know, you've got some hardwoods here. 
Um, you've got this, you know, some hardwoods right around it. So the deer have got a variety of food. Um, they've got the field to feed in. Um, you know, this one here is probably a pretty good spot as well. And, and the main thing is it's kind of isolated. It's not a pond real close. I mean, there's these ponds out in the middle of these fields. But if you were a deer that's been getting shot at, you know, and every time you walk out through a field, you get shot at or see, you know, one of your buddies blown away or whatever, um, where are you going to get water at? Of course, you're going to get water in this in the security of this cover um, where it's safe and stay in your bedding area. It's just the way it is. Big bucks are going to, they're not, older deer are going to stay within this area. They're going to walk, get their water and come right back to bed down, you know, feed a little bit, whatever. Uh, very good spots. Um, this one down here. Like I said, looks good. Only problem is it's got another pond right beside it. Deer may, you know, come here to get water instead of here. You know, you may be hunting here and are getting water here, and then you switch back and forth. Um, but you know, either one of them would be be fine. Deer's going to come to them at some point. You just may, you know, not see, might not see quite as many deer off off of one of these two ponds as you would a pond up here. You know, only thing is, okay, let me pull my ruler out, and we're just going to look at something here okay I'm gonna put it in yards um, only thing is it's probably not gonna see you know if you've got a hot dough over in this area if you've got a hot dough down in this area you know somewhere around here you're probably not gonna in your over here hunting you're probably not gonna see any deer over here if there's a hot dough in this area kind of deal like that so if you do have a hot dough I mean that's like anywhere else you know but because um, it is far apart. If there's a hot doe in this area, she's probably going to stay around here. If there's a hot doe around here, she's most likely going to get water here. So, um, them are the areas that I can say, um, you know, if, if I were looking for an area, you know, from an aerial photo view like I'm looking at here, um, be tough. I'm not saying that this isn't. I have no idea. Uh, there's nothing that I can see to say yes or no. Um, Period. You just can't. I couldn't tell you, you know, what if you can see, you might sit here and see, kill a bunch of mature bucks. I don't know. You know, if it was me and I was going to look at it from an aerial photo, the first areas I'm going to look at, um, four areas that mature bucks are going to use, I've pointed out. And that's going to be these water sources, um, these, these, these big tree lines for food sources. Um, you've got tons of bedding area. Deer can bed in this anywhere they want. Most of the time they're going to bed on high spots, um, <clears throat> areas that they would they feel more comfortable at, but they can bed in here anywhere. It's just that simple. <clears throat> you know, and they can feed in here anywhere because of the browse, but they're only going to be able to get acorns certain spots. Um, we, we know when they're when the preferred food source is the acorns, and that's going to be these oak trees that are scattered out through here. Okay. Um, and then you're only going to get water at certain spots if it's dry. If it's, you know, rained five inches in the past, you know, week, you can get water anywhere. But on dry times, that's going to be hot spots. So anyways, <clears throat> David, I hope this helps you out. Um, not saying that's a bad spot. I have no idea. You know, you've seen it. You know, you can always put it up there, and you can always put you in another blind other places. Um, but if, if it's setting right here, pretty close to where, you know, here, um, I would definitely get in here and look. And it's probably going to be tough to move that kind of a stand up in through this. But, you know, it may be worth worth your while um, to do that. Because this is going to be a hot spot from years and years and years to come. Um, just like any of these other areas, if you can find them in these certain spots in this pond here. Then we're going to be for years and years to come. I can guarantee you um, that deer are going to use them. You know, some of them, they're going to use them. It's that simple. Um, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips, information, things like that on deer hunting, guys. Uh, go to DeerHuntingSchool.com on the left-hand side. Once you get there, you'll see a list of online courses. Get them online courses. They're really going to help you out um, more than you. If, if you can understand it, they're going to help you out big time. Um, and that's just all there is to it. So, anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Have a good day and bye-bye.